I pray for you today, you will not just die as a woman, but you will die as an institution when it is time for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Father. Today we pronounce the blessing. Let that blessing be made with you in the name of Jesus Christ. As you celebrate and you are looking forward, the rest of your years you will not spend in sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not spend in confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not spend in, in sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. The rest of the year will be the year of success and joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus Christ. So we decree to you today in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And so shall it be. Happy birthday in Jesus' name we decree. Let's clap for Jesus. A round of applause for our sister. Please clap. Are we cool? If the room is cool, let's have some eaters around. Because why we're here, it's not just for you to come and dance and eat. The best moment of this day is what we're doing now. The very best moment of this occasion is what we're doing now. Right? Let's put our heart into it. Let's say amen when the prayers are going on. And let's clap when the prayers are done. Because it encourages the one who has said it. And then it tells the one that has been prayed and said unto that she's loved. Uh, may the Almighty God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we have two more prayers to go. Uh, but before we go into the two other prayers that is to be said, I'd like to call on Sister Florence to come and lead us um, in a song. And that will cheer us up a little bit. Um, to God be the glory. Um, that's the hymn that we have on our print out on the table. The great things he has done. Please let's be on our feet. To God be the glory. Um, the great things he has done.
call on Pastor Mrs. Bello to lead us in another round of prayer. A round of applause as she comes. Pastor Mrs. Bello, please. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for letting me God bless you, Jesus. Let us bow down our way. Heavenly Father, we thank you and give you praise. And tell you, Lord, we thank you because there is no one like you. Daddy, we thank you for the journey of 50 years. We thank you how far you put your daughter. We say, Father, we give glory and honor to you. We say, in everything, we should give you thanks. Father, the reason why we are gathered today, just because of your daughter, to lift our voice to take you this afternoon. That they accept all our thanks in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The first prayer and the second prayer we say, Father, accept all our thanks. Yeah. We thank you for this family, we thank you for your daughter. Holy Spirit, continue to do greater things in this family. Yeah. More wisdom, more knowledge in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. We pray that like your Father will continue to peel the head of fire around you and your family. No evil, no sickness will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. And come and take up the precious blood of Jesus. From glory to glory, family, and you will move forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Mom. Please let's move our family. Um, now we have uh, no, another prayer. I'm not the one who dishes on these prayers, please. It's the celebrant's uh, choice, and so we have to go by what she has chosen for a day. So, um, but I can, because I have the mic, I can alter, you know, going by our own um, line up, uh, probably might be a little bit, uh, you know, so just trying to make it uh, nice for us because I, you know. I have the mic so I can do what I decide. Uh, praise God. Yeah. So uh, the, we were going to take the top prayer, but before we go to the top prayer, I'd like you to sing this song. So no one is going to leave this song. We're all going to sing it together. It's come to blessings. Name the one that So I want, because when Pastor Billy was leading the prayer, the time, it was only a voice we had. You know, when Florence came, it was a voice we had. Now, we want to hear your voices. So I'm not going to hold the mic. Mic is going to go down. But we're all going to sing, count your blessings, and then we'll, you know, check, check out the cold. If, maybe if we are cold, anyway, let's just shake our body and let's have a good beat to sing and then rejoice for the celebrant today. Amen. After this time, the next thing is for us to start eating and dancing, and then we we'll still not let to dance with the family of the children. But now, let's give it to the Lord. Let's be on our feet, everybody. Hallelujah. So we have the prayer on our table. We are going to sing. Your voices are going to be heard, just as you were heard in heaven on that day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we? Are you ready? One, two, three, go.
Almighty. God bless you. Amen. Now, because of our time, um, I'm going to call on the third person to lead us in the round of prayer, but then it's going to be uh, an exhortation for oh, the next 50 minutes thereabouts. So, just to put everything together, prayer and then give us a short exhortation as the Spirit of the Lord will lead him. And this person is in order than uh, our dearly beloved friend, my friend, Pastor um, Ade Chimo. Ade Ade Ponchu. You know, sometimes when you have too many names in your head, you kind of place them, you know? Don't think I don't know his name, because I said he's my friend. So, you don't know your friend's name. You know, but when you have too many friends, probably you know, sometimes. Uh, that's a uh, I knew you were going Yes. Of course. <laughs> Tell him. I don't know. Tell him I knew you. He knows my name. <laughs> glory be to God. Well, we give glory to God. Uh, honor to Him. We retain the lessons today. And we thank the Lord, our God, the maker of heaven and earth, that has made it today a reality in the life of our sister and our brother and of course the children and the rest of us. Praise God. Um, you know, in the book of John chapter 2, Jesus Christ was sitting there enjoying himself. And uh, <laughs> The wine got finished. Praise God. And the mother would not let him sit. And he came and he said to him, The wine is finished. And the man asked, What? What's my business? The wine is finished. Praise God. And that moved his hand. That was the first miracle in the Bible, according to the book of John. You know, he instructed that the jars that were being used to wash hands be filled with water. And uh, alas, he turned to the very sweet wine. Praise God. So as I was sitting quietly there, enjoying myself, praise God. Even though I was a little bit getting cold, praise God. And Pastor LC suddenly fished me out. And said, <laughs> you know the way we are. By the way, I bring greetings from Limerick. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you are from Limerick, say praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Well, I bring greetings from the Northern in Limerick. You know, we, uh, we should have been here in, in our numbers, but we decided to bring representatives. My servant pastor and few other pastors as well. Praise God. Um, the exhortation is meant to be short, so I won't talk too much. If Jesus Christ turned the, the, the water to wine in a spiritual way, and you know, uh, it's, it got recorded. The same thing I will prophesy in your lives today that. Everything in your life that the enemy has turned around, uh, Jesus turned it to sweetness. Amen. Because you have come in the name of Jesus. The Lord that made our sister to sit gloriously, graciously there, radiating the goodness of the Lord, will do the same for you in Jesus' name. Because you have come. This is what the scripture commands that we do according to. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 15. We should celebrate with everyone that celebrates. Praise God. So, the sacrifices you have paid today is acceptable to Christ Jesus. But one thing I want to warn us of is this. Everything in the world right now points to the fact that Jesus is coming soon. Praise God. Some time ago, I even had it confirmed 
by the Archbishop of Canterbury. You know, it's the, the Bishop of the Church of London, of England, that we are in the end time. So it's not peculiar to the Pentecostal movement alone. Praise God. So we must be aware of that. And what do I need to, to uh, emphasize that is this. The reason of your existence is that at the end of time, at the end of age, you will have the privilege of living forever. In eternity, we call it. Praise God. Together with Jesus in his father's house. In your father's house. Praise the Lord. Consequently, this I will encourage us if for some reason we are still living our life uh, in the pattern of old to so take a cue from what you are hearing from me this evening and embrace Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. Um, the kingdom of God is not only in the matter of eating and drinking. We have come today to celebrate. You have not really come here to eat, dance and go home, but to see how your life will be transformed. Otherwise, you will have been in the pub. Praise God. And the word that I speak, Jesus said, is life. I trust that it will accomplish the purpose of uh, you hearing it this evening in Jesus' name. Before I sit, you know, there is a story in the book of um, Zechariah chapter 3. Praise the Lord Jesus. There is a high priest. I know most of us here are, you know, uh, officials, pastors, bishops in churches. Praise the Lord Jesus. But what, there was this high priest called Joshua in that book of Zechariah chapter 2 and chapter 3. The, the man ended up in glory and uh, the eyes of uh, the prophet Zechariah was opened to see what was happening. Praise the Lord Jesus. Listen to me very carefully now. So you saw what was happening there. As also in the manner of this Satan, Remember what happened in the book of Job? The children of God assembled. Suddenly the devil came there as well. Praise God. I know as we are here, we are all children of God. I know Satan will also have his mistress here. But they are under our feet. In Jesus' name. They are said they are under your feet. In Jesus' name. Okay. So, Satan turned up. And uh, he began the process of accusation, as usual, against Joshua. But the Lord was there. I said Jesus was there. So concerning you, my sister, brother, children, friends, when the devil shall arise with his accusations, when it matters, the Lord will show up on your side in Jesus' name. The Lord was there. And Satan began to accuse. And Jesus Christ accused him back that was this not the wood that I snatched from the fire or something like that. Praise God. I should have brought my Bible. Chapter 3, verse uh, early verses. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus Christ came to the rescue and um, Zechariah chapter 3. Say, the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you. Satan, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? Praise God. Hallelujah. So, Joshua will have been very useful for the kingdom. The God needs to burns evil. Praise God. I've prayed for you already that the Lord will be on your side when the accuser of the brethren will come. But I want to encourage you to be a burning stage. 
Praise God. Whatever your hands can find to do for the kingdom of God, begin to do it beginning from today. First thing is to receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Then give yourself in to fulfill the mandate for which you are called. Praise God. The reason why you are called is for the job to be completed. And time will not come until everybody in the world has had the word. Praise God. And you are mandated to do that as well. Joshua was not perfect. Praise God. So he was wearing filthy garments. I don't know. Perhaps he was walking in adultery. Perhaps he was a drunkard. Perhaps I don't know what, but he was wearing filthy garments. Praise God. But the grace and mercy of the Lord showed up. And the Lord commanded the angels to take away his garments and put a clean to man on his head. The Lord will have considered, perhaps, the memorials he has built. So, my summary, irrespective of your life, of the past or present, you can make up your mind today that when the time shall come and you be in glory, that my prayer for you will work for you. Amen. Jesus will come to your aid and will command filthy garments to be removed Amen. and to one of uh, uh, expensive crown will be placed on your head. Amen. And the devil will no longer be in the position to rob you of your place in eternity. Amen. It begins from now. As we celebrate, as we praise, please let my words echo in your ears. It may look uh, not too intelligent or not too bright. Praise God. But when we remember that, you know, the, the, the Lord in His mercy and wisdom frustrate the wisdom of the wise with foolishness. It will make sense in your spirit. So think about this. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because of you that Pastor called me out. I wasn't prepared to preach. If I was, we'd be here for the next two hours. But if it's not you, it could be somebody near me. It could be somebody far away from me. If the word touches you, render your heart. Praise God. So that the word will not stand against you in judgment. Let's go our head. Our Lord and God will thank you today. Because in your calendar, there is no voice. There is no coincidence. There is usually orderliness. You do not do things haphazardly. We bless your name for making today a day whereby we have encounters, whereby we hear a word that will touch a soul. So Lord, we have presented ourselves, each and every one of us here before you this day. We ask the Lord God that you touch us. Let your words have a place in our hearts. Let the heart with which we have come to rejoice today bring us a new life. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Almighty God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. I think I would have to pick 